Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to It's My Lifestyle. I'm Elder Sharon Vinson, and I want to thank you for tuning in to another edition. Um, I just hope that you have taken this time to subscribe by now. Hopefully, you've shared it with a friend and told somebody else that Elder Vinson is now a part of the YouTube family. And I hope I've said something encouraging along the way so far. But if I have not invited you to subscribe, please, this is my personal invitation. Please subscribe to the channel so that we can stay connected. And I look forward to more. More and more time with you. I want to talk to you today because recently the Lord had shared with me some things about me and there's something he wanted me to do. And to be honest with you, for me, it was a hard thing. And uh, maybe God has asked you to do something very difficult. It, it may have been, uh, you know, not difficult for someone else, but maybe God told you to do it. And you could look around and say, well, you know, why you ain't asked him or why you didn't ask her, but he asked you to do it. He wanted you to do it. And I don't know if you've ever had that feeling, but you can, you can go to work. You can have a project do, you can have so many things to do and so many things on your mind. But if God expect you to do something, I promise you, you can't get around it. You can do whatever you want to do. You can, you can, you can try to pray it away. You can try to send it away. You, you can just, I mean, I don't care what song you sing. I don't care what you try to do. If he wants you to do something, it won't leave you. I mean, special. I, it could be anything. I, and there's so many things that sometimes God will require of you. He was like, you know, why me? You know, why, why me? You know, especially what if it's an apology or something like that, that some of us don't want to lower our pride and humble ourselves to even apologize or, or even to do something out of your norm and God will require it of you. And you were like, you know, he can ask anybody to do that. He doesn't need me for that, but yet and still he's not asking anybody else. He's asking you. He wants you to do it. And sometimes you can wiggle, you can squirm, but you've got to do the will of God. You have to answer his call. And I promise you, get up your, get, make up your mind. I'm going to do it. You, you can lose friends behind it. You can, and, and the enemy, I will tell you this, he will blow it up bigger in your mind to make you feel like it's way more than what it is. Oh my goodness, you'll never be able to face them again. Oh my goodness, how are you going to do that? That's impossible. You'll lose everything. Every, oh, he just blows everything out of proportion because he doesn't want you to do the will of God. But when you answer the call, it is such a load off to know that you did something God wanted you to do. You know, it might just be something you don't normally do. But yet and still, if God requires it, there's something good coming out of it. There's some good coming out of it. You don't know what you might end up doing, what you might be bringing together, what you could be setting free. And there's something, I promise you, Whatever this is God wants you to do, it has to do with that thing over there that you need and you desire from God. You know, if you remember in the scripture, when the Jericho walls were tall and built and no one could get in and no one could get out. And yet and still God had told them to take over that city. He required that they shout those walls down, march around those walls so many times. And, and then on the silently, and then on the seventh time, march around on the seventh day, march around seven times and then make a loud shout. And you know, when you think about it, what sense does that make? Marching around walls, shouting does not normally in physics bring walls down but that's what god required he required a strategy he required a movement of you from us something that we have to do 
And you would think, wow, and can you believe God allowed that strategy to intimidate the enemy and what they wanted from God? It's for those walls to be brought down. And God brought those walls down. Well, maybe you need some walls down. Maybe there's a miracle you need from God. Maybe there's something that's standing in between you and your miracle. I promise you, this that he's asking you to do has to do with that. And we, if, when we are obedient to God, we can get results from God. You can't get results from God being disobedient. You can't, you don't even do that to your own children. If those of us who have children and they've been disobedient, Ma, can I go to the party? No, you can't go to the party <laughs> because disobedience. But I promise you, be obedient. You'll be so glad you did this has to do with that. You're not going to get around it. Just do the will of God. You'll have what you want. You'll have peace with God. You'll have peace within. And God will turn that situation around. Or he'll bring that situation crumbling down like he did those Jericho walls. I know he will. I've seen him do it. And he's going to do it for you. Okay? I thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to tell a friend and subscribe. I want to see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.